no parking, son, in the area I need to be in. to make sure I am trying to uh, upgrade the most I can in a budget-friendly way and not just overshoot it and just get the highest, most expensive fork out there. So again, the forks I got uh, were a little over $120 after tax and I got them on Amazon. I'm gonna see how the upgrade goes. I'm really excited about it and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about those. But um, the forks that I got are uh, ZTZ Air Forks. They're 100 millimeter uh, travel on them. They are uh, very light. Uh, all the reviews I could find on them on the internet, it seemed like they got a pretty good review and people really weren't hating on them. I mean, this is a, an extreme budget fork. It's pretty much the cheapest you can get. So, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check the pressure on this thing and see exactly uh, what it is. I'm curious. Like I said, there's no graph or nothing on this or chart as to how much um, pressure I should have as far as air goes. So I'm just going to go ahead and check it and see what it has in there. So it's at uh, 84, 84 pounds. Okay, so <clears throat> I just got done tightening up all the cables and everything to the air shocks or the forks. And I was about to talk about how easy it was and everything else. And I went ahead and checked the pressure. As you can see in the footage, it was like an 80 something. Uh, I think it was 84 it was at. Anyway, right after I got done checking the air pressure, it kept getting lower and lower. And I'm like, what the hell? I said, well, maybe there's like fluid or some kind of buildup or something in the air chamber itself that I don't know about. So I kept checking, it kept getting lower and lower. Next thing you know, just off of checking it, the whole front end started to like squeeze down. So now this is what I'm dealing with and I don't know what is wrong. So I'm gonna zoom in and you can see this. Now, check it out. Here we are. There's like, and that, I mean that's on tight all the way as far as the, uh, the compression goes and that's i mean that thing is just i was about to just you know man these are great so far i haven't got a chance to write it yet and talk about the install and talk about how they feel and damn next thing you know it starts leaking out of somewhere and i have no clue where it's leaking out of um so what i'm gonna do now is uh i'm going to i got an air compressor go ahead and fill it up and hopefully it holds pressure and i also have a um a little squirt bottle here. I'm going to spray. I got some soapy water. I'm going to spray and see if there's a leak somewhere in there. I have no clue, but it's really pissing me off. I was just about to like, you know, hoot and holler about these things, just how great they were. Um, but we'll see. The ZTZ Kashima forks. We'll see what ends up going on. Like, so I got, I got a compressor. So let's see if they'll hold pressure. I have no clue what the hell happened. It's very, very strange. And I haven't done anything. It's not even... I'm not even registering. Um, I made sure this was tight, and I do have a uh, the top nut there. I was make sure that was tight, and I do have a, um, a valve stem puller, and I made sure that the valve stem was nice and tight. The valve stem's tight; uh, it's not loose or anything. Um, so, man, I don't know what the problem is. Hopefully, this fixes it, and if not, I guess I will um, be sending it back. I don't know if you can do that or what, but. I don't know, it's kind of upsetting, so let's put some air in it and see if uh, there's something we can do. Okay, so you kind of see how it jumped up there, obviously. Now... I don't hear anything, um, I don't hear anything leaking. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna spray some, come on now. I'm gonna spray some soapy water on it and see 
I can see any areas leaking or, you know, spitting out air or whatever. There's no bubbles or anything shooting out. So I'm going to do is I'm going to check the pressure on it again and see if it holds. Yeah, nothing shooting out from down here. Let's see what the pressure is. Okay, it's at 29. I mean, let's try the... Let's see how much it... If I mess with it a little bit, that's loose. And you can see that. I mean, it's got... So it's all the way loose on the compression. And you can see there, I mean, obviously it's, you know, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, but I mean, that's another level with only 17 mount, uh, 17 um, pounds of pressure would you expect. And then, see if it's even holding anymore at this point. I don't know, I'm kind of worried about that. Um, and now it's got a slow leak, so it's at 14. So 4.5, it just keeps going down, down, and down. Man, that's a bummer. <sighs> I guess this uh, fork is um, faulty. I mean, I, I know I only paid $120 for it, but damn, I mean, the thing's done already, and I haven't got a chance to ride on it yet. I don't know what to do at this point. Um, I'll make sure these little end caps on the bottom are tight. Other than that, kind of disappointed. I don't know what to do. Well, there you have it. Um, I was uh, so damn excited about putting some forks on my bike. And I got them ordered and I waited. And I had to take stuff off my other bike so the spacers and all that would fit. And just I only had so much money I could spend on Amazon. So I went ahead and went with these forks, and this is what I get. Um, I guess that's why you don't get, uh, you know, and I was looking at, you know, doing a cool video on my upgrades as I'm going so far, and I just got done going to a bike shop, and the guy was like, man, you really ought to look at Suntour, or um, you really ought to look at Rock Shocks or Fox Shocks, and I'm like, yeah, 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 but, you know, the way I'm doing it, I'm doing a budget build, and, um... <clears throat> well, I guess that's why on budget builds, uh, I guess that's why, you know, there's cheap stuff and there's stuff that's, that's, that's very expensive. The $900 stuff I was talking about, I guess that's why people buy the $900 stuff so they don't deal with stuff like this. So that really, that's a disappointment. <sighs> that's a big disappointment. I was hoping to bring a cool video to you guys, but, um, man, I'm going to have to go back on the internet and maybe see what I could do about these or, um, whatever, but, uh. Those are the ZTZ Kashima mountain bike forks. Uh, they're the Air Forks 100 millimeter um, travel. And um, that's all I can say. I mean, I was crap talking the hell out of uh, these guys. I was like, man, you know, the Sun Tour shocks, they're coil shocks. They're really heavy, which they're 5.71 pounds. And the, uh, the, uh, Kashima ZTZ forks are 3.71, so it's like about three pound difference. So I was crap talking old coil shorts, but let me tell you, our coil forks, and in the end, I mean, they're the only ones that, that have held up through all this abuse and everything I put them through. Hell, these guys, I haven't even ridden on them yet. I just put, I just, I don't know. Hell, I just put them on the damn bike. That's it. And then put a little bit of pressure with my damn arms and things blow out. And I can't find where the leak is. I don't know what's going on with that, but it kind of pisses me off. I mean, it really pisses me off. You know, if you're going to sell a product, I don't know. We'll see how they treat me and how they stand by me um, as far as me trying to take them back, whatever. But, man, that's that's a bummer. That really sucks. Hey, guys, let's go mountain biking. Oh, front wheelie. Bam! And I dropped that son of a bitch. It's all the way down. And, and then it locks out all stupid. And I barely even moved the damn thing. Oh, shit. Man, that damn thing didn't feel like it's holding pressure, Jeremiah. I don't know what the problem is. Well, guys, let me check it with my air gauge here. Let me see what we got going on. Hell, it's got... It's got ten and a half pounds of pressure in it. Well, that's, that's, that's your that's your reason in there. You know? Shit. But you put 
at that son of a bitch. I walk out and it walks like right in the damn shocks in there. So I don't, I don't know. Look at that son of a bitch, man. Low rider. That's the new style of mountain biking. It's the whole, uh, you know, oh, we're going we're gonna to get real low on it. You know, we're going to change it up. Wow. That sucks. Thank you.